Honourable Members, I will come into this uh, morning sitting. We have business that was done halfway, which we should do and finish early this morning so that we can continue with the rest of the business on the order paper. We'll take the urgent matters when we resume in the afternoon, but for now I think let's proceed with the bill. The National Social Security Fund amendment about the amendment of section 14 of the principal act and the committee proposed that we delete clause 8. The justification is that NSSF engaging with third parties shall expose members' contributions to protracted and endless recovery court battles, which may cost more than what would have been intended to, re to be recovered and therefore be costly on the savers' contributions. NSSF should internally devise or improve the internal mechanisms to directly recover from the defaulting employers. Attempting to recover from third parties may cause delays in the collection of members' contributions as well as conflict of interest on the part of those executing the task of the actual recovery. The question is that the bill entitled the National Social Security Amendment Bill 2021 be read for the third time and do pass. I put the question that motion those in favor to the contrary no. The eyes have it. A bill for an act entitled the National Social Security Fund Amendment Act 2021. Congratulations, Honorable Minister. Congratulations, Chair, and thank you, members. Congratulations. Today I will breathe because I've been receiving phone calls and phone calls and messages from the workers of this country. Parliament has delivered on what it should do to grant uh, the workers of this country, those who qualify, midterm access to the benefits they have received. How suspended to 2.30. What time is it? How suspended to 3 o'clock. 